Okay, guys, let's talk about what beef short ribs are. They come from the beef chuck portion of the, the beef, and they are the five short ribs from the chuck section, and they're too small to be used as steaks. But you can see how much meat is in there. Um, the meat does sit between mussels, and these mussels are used a lot, so that meat is a tougher piece of meat, but it can be cooked to be tender. And we're going to be cooking our beef short ribs in my Instant Pot. It's just going to take about 45 minutes. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a dry rub on here. And I'm just going to take these. And I've left the bone in. Now sometimes um, you can get the butcher or whatever to, um, to cut the muscle off. To take the bone out. And you're just left with that real pretty tender uh, meat in there that will turn tender once cooked right. But I'm leaving it all together because I know that my Instant Pot is going to make these so tender. And the muscle you can see on the outside, it's really tough. But once I cook an Instant Pot, that's going to just fall right off. Right now it would be very hard for me to cut off. So I'm just leaving it on there, and I'm just putting salt and pepper. Now you can cook these in just a regular pressure cooker. You can put them in the oven and braise them for several hours. We don't buy beef short ribs, but um, when we bought uh, half a beef, this was part of the, the cut that come with it. So... We're going to be trying them, and uh, it's going to have a really good sauce with it to braise in in my Instant Pot. So we got salt and pepper, and of course we're going to put some garlic on here. Now, I don't know um, how many of y'all cook beef short ribs, but like I said, we don't have them. I just don't buy them, so this is a new one for us. I think I've ate them in a restaurant before. And you can cut that muscle off if you want to beforehand, but it's not necessary. And like I said, it'll come off, it'll just come right off there once you uh, cook them in the Instapot. Because they're going to be so tender, they're just going to fall apart. Now I'm putting onion powder on here. And I'm going to just douse them with onion powder. And you can also cut up a bunch of onions and put in there with it too. But for anything like this, I just love to really put a good dry rub on them. Especially when I'm, I'm fixing to brown them. I'm going to turn my... Instapot on saute and we're going to brown each side of the beef ribs before we start cooking them and that's just going to seal in them juices and give them that crusty on the outside and be so good so there we go it's that easy Okay, I've got my Instant Pot on saute, and we're going to put just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil on here, and I'm going to start putting my short ribs in here, and we're going to brown them on each side, but I don't want to crowd them in here, so I'm just going to put a few at a time, and I'll be turning them off and on and making sure that each side gets good and brown and crispy. Put just a little bit more on that side.
Okay, while our meat is browning, let's make our sauce. And I've got two cups of beef broth here. And I'm going to put a good heaping tablespoon of tomato salt or tomato paste. And I've got some Worcestershire sauce, and we're going to put about four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And everything's already smelling wonderful in here. So now we're going to put two tablespoons of honey. And any kind of sauce like this, a lot of times putting some kind of a, a sweetener in it like a honey, brown sugar, it just kind of brings it over the top a little bit. Uh, gives it a little bit of a sweetness to it you can also if you don't want to use this sauce you can just use barbecue sauce um, there is a recipe for a korean style short ribs and uh, i'll probably be making those too because i have several several short ribs out there So we got our honey in there, and now all we got to do is put some more garlic in here. Y'all know how we are about our garlic, and there's about uh, two cloves chopped up, and we're going to put in there. And that's it. And that is your sauce that goes in with your short ribs. <clears throat> and it smells really good. I just know this is going to be so good. Okay, we've got all of our short ribs browned, and they're sitting over here on the side. So now what we're going to do is I've turned off my Instant Pot, but it's still hot. And I'm going to pour just a little bit of the sauce in there, not all of it. And we're going to deglaze the bottom. We're going to get all those beautiful brown bits off the bottom because that's where a lot of your your richness and your that really good taste comes from when you're making a sauce or a gravy so just kind of let that juice that glaze just kind of deglaze everything and you see it's all them bits are coming off the bottom real good. The Instapot is a it's a really easy thing to cook in. I don't cook in it a whole lot. I just I don't know. When I first got it I did and then I just kinda calmed down with it and uh I need to start using it more, that's for sure. Now we're gonna put our beef ribs back in here. Try to get them in there the best I can. Um, the recipe calls three to four pounds of uh, beef short ribs. I didn't weigh mine. I may have just a little over that, but uh, I, I really don't think there's more than four pounds here. So we're just gonna get them in there the best we can. Then we're going to pour our sauce over this. And I'm already getting excited. If you could just smell how good my kitchen smells right now. I'm going to throw a few sprigs of thyme in here. We're going to put the lid on. Make sure the valve is at seal. And I know that different Instant Pots are are different you know um but i'm putting mine on manual for 45 minutes you can put it on um, meat or stew but when i push that button it's only for 25 minutes and i can't change the time for some reason so 
I'm putting mine on manual, which will be high on high for 45 minutes. So it'll cook for 45 minutes, and then when it's done, I just want to show you the front of mine. Um, when it's done, I'm going to let it do a natural release for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'll do a instant release. Because if you do an instant release right off the bat, your meat is going to seize up and it's going to be tough. So let it naturally release when it's done for 20 minutes. Okay, the beeper went off, it's done, so I'm going to let it do its natural release for 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, I've done a, a quick release on it. So it's all good now, and now we're going to take the lid off. I always take the lid off and um, face it away from you when you do. Ooh, look at all that steam, and look at them short ribs. Isn't that pretty? We're going to take the time sprigs out before I forget about them. And I want you to look at how tender this tough piece of meat. I mean, it is just fork tender I tell you these instant pots are they are something else I'm gonna take my my ribs out my short ribs out and I'm gonna set them aside and we're gonna thicken our sauce up a little bit so let me get my short ribs out and they're pretty much kind of falling apart, so I've got to be careful getting them out. My mouth is watering, y'all. It smells and looks so good. Look at that. The bone is just falling out of that. And the meat in between the muscles. And that uh, is just tender. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. Just four. It's just like putting your fork through butter it's gonna be so good you know when you get a, a tough piece of meat just like a brisket and you cook it and it comes out so tender and you're just always I'm just always so amazed that you can take a tough piece of meat and just make it so good so I got that out. So let's make our, let's thicken our sauce up. I'm going to turn it back on saute. Okay, I've got it on saute. And I've got a fourth of a cup of flour and a fourth of a cup of water. And that's what I'm using to thicken my sauce up. You can use cornstarch and water if you want to. Or arrowroot. I use arrowroot, but I'm out. I've got to get some ordered. I ordered my arrowroot from Amazon. And it should be in my Amazon store. I need to check and make sure it's in there. And since I've got my Instant Pot on saute, it's, it's really hot and it's bubbling. So it's going to thicken this... Um, sauce up really well. It won't take very long. Okay, we're cooking now. The sauce is getting good and it's not thick thick, but it's it's thickening up. About the consistency you want. So this plate up our supper. <clears throat> And what I'm using tonight with my short ribs is I'm going to use some rice. Now, a really good uh, 
complement to short ribs is mashed potatoes, but we're using rice tonight. And this is Mr. Brown's plate, so I'm going to get him a couple of good pieces here. Meaty pieces. And like I said, they're just falling apart, so you don't even have to use a knife. It's just fork tender. So let's put us a little bit of sauce on top. And this sauce is really good. I tasted it. So it's not only flavoring the meat, but it's going to flavor that rice. Or if you had mashed potatoes. So I got a little bit of a, a side here, too. <laughs> Mr. Brown's ready to eat. He's a waiting on it. And I got some steamed broccoli with cheese. And that's all we need. So that's a happy plate. So there you go, Mr. Brown. Now let me fix me a plate and we'll sit down and eat. It's so tender. You know, I don't think I've ate very many beef short ribs. Have you, Mr. Brown? Well, not a whole lot. I haven't. So, since I haven't, I know you haven't. <laughs> Unless you ate them somewhere else. But these are so tender and got such a good taste to them. So, I will be making this again. So, if you come across any beef short ribs, or if you just don't buy them because you don't know what to do with them. Use your Instapot and they'll come out delicious. And these are farm fresh short ribs. Yeah, they are because we don't we don't ever buy them, but it was part of the the cuts we got. So it's really good. Guys, I hope y'all like this recipe. If you've never tried beef short ribs, guys, you've got to try them. They are a delicious cut of meat. God bless everybody, and we love y'all.